Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this month's Yes Oh Yes bag. So this month I cheated a little bit and we're going to do things a little bit differently. Uh, this package came in the mail yesterday along with a bunch of other things. Like I had ordered a whole new cosplay and all the stuff so it was kind of like package overload so I cheated and opened this yesterday. But that means I was able to like try things out today and give them a full day wear test. So I have footage for you of me trying the things on. So you can let me know which method you prefer if you prefer the first impression kind of video or if you prefer me trying it out first. So it seems that Yes Oh Yes has pretty much completely stopped putting the information on the back of the card. So the front pretty much says, you are amazing. Wow, wake up and make up. And the back just says, the moment you realize you will never pay full price for makeup, yes, your monthly savings, 82.2% off retail. And then we're gonna go into the bag. So the first thing you get in the bag is uh, something that I didn't try out for you because it's called Do, do Say, Do, 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 Do Say, Ooh. The polish, purify, detoxify, and glow. Dead sea salt, activated charcoal, coconut oil, coffee balancing, essential oil blend. I think this is, like, what am I supposed to use this for? That's where I don't really get, does it go in the bath? It says polish, so I feel like I'm supposed to use this in the sh shower on my body or something, right? Dead sea salt and coffee, I feel like it's not really supposed to be a combination that goes on your face because it sounds rough. So I'll try this in the shower, I guess. But that's what it, it, to me, it's, it strikes me as a body polish and not a face mask because it seems like it would be rougher with those ingredients. So I have not tried that out. The other thing in here I have not tried is this. This is a lip brush by the brand Sorme, which we've had a couple of Sorme things in bags past and they've all been pretty good. I like that it comes in this fancy like plastic little bag. I own a couple of lip brushes. This one definitely looks fancier. I didn't realize like the, the, bottom comes off it's like a cap i was wondering why it was shaped so weird but honestly i don't really use lip brushes for lipstick because i just put things on the script from the bullet because i'm not doing anyone else's makeup other than my own right so i usually use lip brushes for concealer sometimes if they're really skinny i'll use them for eyeliner uh so you can really never have too many lip brushes i'm not too stoked about this to be honest but it's there now on to some of the things that i am wearing so first this is the bodyography electric lip slide so this is kind of like a true liquid lipstick. It's got a sort of glossy, not sticky, but I can feel on my lips. I did not wear this all day. I just put it on now because again, I thought the color was gonna clash with my the rest of my look. But I don't know how much I would like wearing this all day because you can definitely feel it on your lips. It feels hydrating, it feels nice, but I prefer lipsticks that you can't really feel just because I'm irritated easily. Don't get me wrong, I like it and the color's nice. I just don't like feeling things on my lips, you know? Next thing in the bag is actually the eyeliner that I'm wearing. So this is the Studio Makeup Line Styler Pen. So it is pretty much just a black felt tip liquid eyeliner. The one thing I don't like about this is that the end here, the plastic end by the actual tip is so fat and so long that I, like I wish it wasn't so big. I felt like it was kind of hard, kind of got in the way of the actual end of the liner. But as far as the formula of the liner itself is, I'm usually pretty difficult to please because I'm such a liner girl. Like I wear my liner like this every day, but this one is actually really nice. I found it to be really dark and it didn't smudge or flake or disappear on me at all. And not only do I generally have really watery sort of difficult eyes, but it's raining today and I was out in the rain. I didn't really use my umbrella. So I was expecting my liner to look a mess and I haven't touched it up or anything. And I'm losing, a, like I've lost a little bit in the inner corner, which is to be expected on me. But other than that, my liner still looks pretty good. So I would definitely use that liner again. I'm impressed with the formula and it's, I, I think it's better than some of the higher end liners that I've tried before and definitely better than some of the drugstore liners I've tried before. So that one gets a total win for me. And last but certainly not least, the palette. So this is the Lady Boss palette by Amour US. Now I was excited about this palette because on Yes of Yes' Instagram it looked really pretty, but unfortunately I opened it this morning and this should not bother me as much as it does, but it just really does. So it's got the sleeve, right? And then I opened it and it was like this. What do you see wrong here? This part is supposed to be stuck to this part. My palette is in pieces. And I think it's because like maybe they didn't use a strong enough glue and this is magnetized to help it close. So the magnet was stronger than the glue. But like, and all the shadows are fine. So I'm just really being nitpicky, but my palette's in two, like what? And I know, I know like realistically, after this video is done, I'm just gonna go over there and take my glue gun out and probably just glue it back together. But it was just annoying. I had to like hold it together while I tried to do my makeup this morning. I'm not a fan. 
And also generally, I'm so sorry Betsy Johnson, but I'm generally not a fan of the pink with the cheetah print. I just think it looks tacky. Like, J Betsy Johnson's probably the only person on earth who I think can pull it off, and that's because she's made it kind of part of her brand. Other than that, not really a fan. As far as the palette itself, I find it to be really fun and really unique, and the colors are bright, and they're really, they were really pigmented. Like this morning when I went in with the shade Hustle at first, I was expecting it to be more like the Beauty Creations palette, so like less pig pigmented, really have to build it up. No, it went on pretty good at first, and then I went into the Pink Ear shade CEO to like add some pink to it. Like, I was impressed by this palette this morning, so I'm definitely gonna keep using it. I especially really wanna dabble into some of these bluier tones here, but Definitely impressed by the quality of this palette, and I really like it. And this is definitely a palette that I would see myself reaching for on more fun, rainbowy days. I just wish it had come in one piece! And that is everything that came in my April. This is April, right? Yeah, April, yes, oh yes, bag. I love the palette. I just wish it wasn't broken. I'm obsessed with the liner. I love the liner. And I really do like the color of the lip color. Like, it's not too neon sometimes when bags like this send out lip colors. They're too bright. This is definitely more muted. It's definitely more my speed. So I really, really like this lip color. Um, it's just a very, I can feel it on my lips formula. Almost too smooth, too hydrating, too nice, you know. Don't forget if you want to sign up for Yes Oh Yes, you can use my code Lane Green for 10% off your first month. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And I'll see you next time.